we simply launch CRM from here which will open the CRM application. Within the application we have actually different possibilities to launch the configurator. Or, or we can just launch it from the accounts here. For example if I launch it here, this is a new button here, it will ask me which model I want to use in this case. In this case I want to go for the door or the model which will launch the Ecom configurator. One of the things I can do now is select the party or account I want to sell this quote to. If I close this one and I first select the account and then launch the configurator, the account is already passed over or passed into Econ and it's automatically selected. I can give it an, uh, a reference demo doors 2010 August can select the contact and price list. Of course <coughs> this information is retrieved from the CRM database. So Econ has a connection to CRM and it's loading the information from there. At the overview tab I can see uh, different information. Uh, at this moment there is uh, nothing there yet since we still have to add different products to our codes. So when I select the line I have the possibility to add the first product for this code and I want to have two of them, two doors. Let's go for the Belgian model. Doing that immediately the price is shown this price is coming from the CRM application and database as well and the picture is shown the number of dimensions is limited you know if I go for another one you will see that I have other possibilities there in this case by the way it's a glass door an additional new tab glazing is in there I can also click this little zoom button in here which gives me a more rich screen where I can select from you know presenting the price number, name and even a small picture of the door. So let's go for the Holland. That's the model I like. Select a certain length and width, the swing of the door, and the glazing. I select beautiful chinchilla glass, temperance please. On the accessory step I select some hinges. I like the chrome ones. As you can see this door is default equipped with four hinges. Of course, it's a rule driven by the length of the door. So if I chose on the length right, you will see that it is now equipped with three hinges. And when I pick two, the system accepts it, but it sends me a warning that you know this is not really preferred. It's also, of course, possible to add errors in, in Econ, but in this case, as I told you, it's just a warning. So it's accepted, but not preferred. So let's go back to three. Can select some cylinders, or even it can go for non-standard cylinders. No longer, it is Econ is looking is no longer in the CRM product uh, products, but it's actually looking into an Excel spreadsheet, and it can pick options from there. Just to show and demonstrate that Econ has the capability to do not only query data from the CRM environment, but can also query data from other sources, such as. Uh, SQL, Access, Excel, but also Dynamics AX or Dynamics NIV. Saying that, it means that you can use the configurator within the CRM application whilst it is getting data from the ERP costs, for example. Select the door handle, a sales strip. This is another uh, example of you know how options can be selected. In this case, clicking the picture will add this uh, particular sales truck to my door. Some specifications and a real-time drawing. This one is different from this one. The picture in here is just a static picture coming from the file system, and here, this one here is a um, dynamic generated picture. Dynamic means that changing the dimensions will immediately impact and the swing for example immediately impacts the picture as we can see in here. 
When I go back to the tree, which is a wonderful possibility to navigate through complex quotes, I have the possibility to make a copy of this one, since I need three others with a left string. I need some more doors, in this case not the Holland type, but the Germany type, with these dimensions and a polished uh, seal strip. And at the end I can go back to the quotes in here, select the overview where I have a nice presentation of the items added in the uh, econ quotes. And at discount, maybe some here and some here. I also have the possibility to immediately print a document right from inside econ. It's not mandatory when I save and process this quote into CRM, the document will be generated anyway, but you have the possibility to already have a little preview in here. As you can see, it's fully Word based, which means that the template for this document can be done in uh, Office Word. It can have some fixed uh, pieces of text, and of course it has references to the econ quote, and it will load answers and, 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 and numbers and prices calculated in econ and will load it into the document. Good to know that you have all the styling and possibilities word available so you can make wonderful documents in here in different languages and so forth. When I'm satisfied with this quote I can simply click here the save button which will process this into CRM. Econ is generic which means it is part of the setup of the configurator to determine what it should create in um, CRM. In this case we've chosen to let Econ create a quote. So what we see here is that the quote is added, Demo Doors 2010 August. And we can have of course an, uh, a look, uh, we can uh, check the details in there. We see all fields which are uh, important are nicely um, uh, filled up and also the doors are added in here as existing products. The good thing is I can always through the edit button return into my configurator, review things, change things, revive things or even uh, submit the The second possibility is to launch the econ configurator from within and quote or opportunity or sales order within Dynamics CRM. In this case we are launching the configurator from inside a quote where the new quote product is adding a standard CRM product to the CRM quote. In this case we are selecting the new econ button which will also give us a choice of different configuration models in this case we are selecting the copier model and doing that will launch that particular model. In here we can um, configure a copier, in this case we just want to select a certain machine, adding some options for this machine. As we see if we select the finisher the paper support unit is automatically added as the system tells us. Of course the prices are shown, also prices coming from the CRM product database. Besides that it is also telling us the installation hours required when such an option is chosen. We have to select the base unit for the machine. Some other stuff, fax, scanning and some licenses and also data security set. At the finance and support area we have the possibility to add some additional services and in this case we also want to quote the installation for the product. Second we are also setting a service contract with, um, uh, together with the uh, uh, copier and um, we have to estimate the number of copies this customer will make a year and we can select two type of contracts for our response uh, contract has the price of 362 and of course in 8 hours a bit cheaper since we accept slow response. Of 
course, when I add more copies a year, the um, service rate will increase as well. We can also add a certain discount. In here, I have also the possibility to add some financial and to calculate or to sell uh, some financial stuff. And one of the things we um, add in this model is the possibility to calculate a lease rate, financial lease, for example. So I have to enter the duration of that uh, contract. So maybe I'm going to have it 80. Then the system will tell me that's impossible. The maximum is 72 months for a certain contract. That will calculate the, the tariff per month, the rate per month for this particular contract. And second, what's done in this model is that the commission is calculated as well. The funny thing in here is that as long as the sales is selling this contract for the, for the standard rate, the commission is pretty low. But he really begins to earning money when he sells it for a higher rate than the standard rate. So if he is able to sell it for 230 a month, then he is starting to make money on this uh, deal. So just some examples um, what can be done in the Econ Configurator. So it's not just pure product configurator, but all other calculations can be done as well. What we see in here is that it's calculating service contracts as well in here. It's doing some financial um, calculations as well as calculating the commission. And at the end when I click the save button it is processing this product into the CRM application. And in this case it is added as a write-in product. So in the write-in product you will see and a new product with a price per unit, a quantity and a total amount.